Hey, welcome back to Everyday Economics, the podcast that helps you learn about the economic world happening around you every day. I'm your host, Chris Krug, president of the 501c3 nonprofit, nonpartisan Franklin News Foundation. Everyday Economics is a production of the America's Talking Network. You can check out all of our great podcasts at americastalking.com. To support Everyday Economics and podcasts just like this one, please make your tax-deductible charitable contribution by clicking the link in the show description. We are recording today's episode on Independence Day, July 4th, 2023. And joining me as always, Dr. Orfe Devangi, PhD economist and all around good dude. Dr. O, as a boy, watched TV and movies and dreamed of, you know, maybe spending some part of his life on a beach in California. Not really the dream anymore, at least not for me. And it seems as if it is becoming less and less the dream for others. Let me stop you there, Chris. Legoland is amazing. I was in San Diego a few months ago. <laughs> and let me tell you something. It's still a lot of fun. It's still a lot of fun. But but you are right. There are some challenges. I mean, California's down on net a half a million people since uh, April of 2020, kind of really the kind of the beginning of the beginning as far as the policy and protocols of, of COVID. In the last year, measured, they are down, what's the number, 140? 113,000. 113,000 people on net last year. So not to bag on California. I mean, I've got relatives who live out there who I love very, very much. And 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 it doesn't matter where you, where you are in the in the country. You're you know you're you're an American, and you and I have traded some text messages about California and California's economy. And and some of them you referred to California as being its own country, and I, it kind of is. I mean, from a GDP standpoint, I mean, it, it's a massive, massive economy in and of itself. But not all is is going super well in California with regard to economics. There's a story that came out in the LA Times this last week or within the last week where four out of 10 Californians are, are saying that they're thinking about packing up and leaving. I've read similar polls in, in other states where, you know, taxes are high. And, and I mean, certainly uh, there's a significant percentage of Illinoisans who've talked about leaving. There are, are have been uh, these polls done in New York State and New Jersey where they've said the same things. Price of poker in California is, is pretty high. And and I mean, it's it's understandable that, you know, if you're not happy with what's going on and you're paying a lot of money for it, that maybe you might decide I can do better somewhere else. But the numbers are the numbers and people are leaving California more so than they're going to it. What's the impact of that ultimately? The real GDP in California up 1.2% at an annual rate Q1. So, I mean, California is still a powerhouse. And yes, you have some population decline. And I think a lot of population decline um, might be due to the fact that they have some very, very expensive housing. You would have to, a new, a new buyer, home buyer in, in Los Angeles, the typical home buyer in Los Angeles would have spent almost 80% of their income on their payment, house payment, mortgage, property taxes, property insurance, all that. And that disqualifies a lot of people, right? So like you can't, if you can't buy in Los Angeles as a typical, the median earner, you know, you don't have a choice. You are forced out. You have to go where it's more affordable. And so that is part of the problem. I think housing, housing costs are a problem. Uh, you don't have a lot of building there either. That's a problem. And so, you know, the, the affordability isn't, isn't really likely to improve that all that much. But what that means, though, is as more and more people leave and demand for housing goes down, then you have less competitive pressure. And so over time, over time, the price of housing ought to go down as well. And so when that happens, you know, you have this effect. You have, it becomes more attractive for some people again. Right. And so and that's why I say, that this, you know, it's not always a good idea to go to the extremes because these things play themselves out over long periods of time. In the short run, though, there's a lot of pain. And so, I mean, for the people that do stick around, I mean, you know, what 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 does that mean? I mean, is it does the does their tax burden increase? I mean, does the California is lucky with their their property tax, right? The very low property taxes. That's kind of the, the good news for those who are living in California, right? Homeowners in California. So that's, that's fine. The 360 tax exposure for Californians is, is, is very high. I mean, it's certainly up in the, in the upper quartile 
their income tax is very, very high. It's the highest in the country, I think. So, and so, yeah, I mean, you know, there will be pressure, uh, to keep pushing this up. Now, of course, the government authorities are aware or should be aware that if they go that route, right, which is basically raising taxes, they could actually continue to accelerate this issue out migration problem that they're having. You know, ultimately, the goal is to increase the tax base. And I think the easiest way to do this is to change zoning laws to allow for building, you know, to allow for more construction, to help builders, unlock builders so they can build. And they can build more than just detached single family homes. You know, if we can get builders, if we can deregulate a little bit the housing market and allow builders to build where building is necessary, where homes are needed, right? Then we can lower housing costs and kind of increase the tax base that way. Now that's, of course, that takes time. It takes about six to seven months to build a unit, to build a home. That's the median building time in the United States. But, you know, all every investment that can be made today to get uh, housing costs lower uh, are going, is going to definitely help or going to help bring people back to California. Uh, growing the tax bases. Growing the tax base is going to be absolutely crucial. I, I agree with you, and, and, and I appreciate your thoughts. It's always great to catch up with you. For FAT Vangi, this has been Chris Krug. Subscribe to Everyday Economics and dozens of other quality podcasts at americastalking.com. 